there's two ways you could look at last night's game between the Jags and Bengals. I told you, I was looking forward to it. I thought there were a lot of storylines there. And, of course, interested in seeing both of these quarterbacks. You can talk about Joe Burrow, had poise, helped the Bengals come from behind and win. Or, as the media will do, they'll focus on the Jags. And the Jags have now blown second-half leagues uh, two weeks in a row. How Urban Meyer looks miserable on the sidelines. And knowing how the media works, it's a pretty safe bet. The Jags losing and Urban uh, suffering on the sidelines will be a juicier subject. Jacksonville did look good in the first half, but the Jags can't put together 60 minutes of consistent football. But that's what happens with teams that aren't very good. They're 0-4, and Urban Meyer is left searching for answers. Here was his reaction last night after the loss in Cincinnati. Frustrating. How frustrating is that? That's devastating. Heartbreaking. Usually I'm not wrong about stuff like that, that I, I just see a good team in there. I see good guys, good hearts. I see guys at work. And I told them I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong about that stuff. And this team's going to win some games. Trevor Lawrence looked better last night. There are positive signs. The question is, will Urban Meyer have the patience to keep losing? And oh, by the way, Joe Burrow has poise. I thought he did a great job. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's aware. I mean, he's got a lot of confidence out there. Bengals played well in the second half. They're now 3-1 and one and gaining in confidence. They've been where Jacksonville's been before, but now Cincinnati, that franchise seems to be headed at least in the right direction, uh, you know, temporarily. You know, this is a game you're supposed to win. Sometimes these games can get away from you, and I thought Jacksonville going for it, fourth and goal uh, to end the first half, I would have gone for it. I mean, you're not a good team. Let, let's get a lead. Let's, let's, you know, have Cincinnati be uh, coming in knowing they have to make plays. You know, you got stopped short. It's easy to say, well, they should kick the field goal. I got Trevor Lawrence, and I'm down at the one-yard line. Let's try to punch it in. I had no problem with that whatsoever. You're up 21-0. You go into the locker room. You come out with confidence. It almost felt like, they didn't get it, therefore it, it had an adverse effect on the Jags, even though they were up 14 nothing. It was strange. It was one of those moments where you go, man, we could put this game away. We can be up 21 to nothing. We can have Cincinnati second-guessing what their strategy is going to be for the second half. And then you don't get it, and it almost felt like Cincinnati scored a touchdown. But uh, Jags lose. Uh, this is how it sounded on the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars radio network. Huber gets it down. McPherson kicks it up. And the field goal is good. And the Bengals have beaten the Jaguars 24-21. to 21. Boy, this one hurts. Uh, they all hurt. 92.5 Jags radio network. Yeah. You know, they all hurt. This one hurts, man. Yeah. Well, what's so funny, too, is that, like, and the field goal goes up, and they went, oh, this one hurts. <laughs> like They're on totally different vibes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Todd has an Urban Meyer impersonation. And uh, this is, once again, if you have Peacock, you're going to be able to uh, to see this. It's it's a visual here. And uh, Todd, Todd is going to put on his Jacksonville Jaguars Tim Tebow T-shirt here. <laughs> and... So let me, let me uh, put you – oh, he's got a headset that he's going to act like he's uh, urban on the sidelines. <laughs> and here, if you're watching, is Todd Fritz, Urban Meyer impersonation. They just missed a field goal. Hand to the face. A little shaky. And the eyes. And <laughs> looks, I don't know if it's yeah. winning us a – an Emmy, but no, it's definitely it's, getting the Marconi for this one. That's yes. no doubt about that. Yeah, I'll tell you, Todd could make himself almost tear up and cry in five seconds. Yeah, <laughs> look how upset he he's is. He's like yeah. Daniel Day Lewis of football. Yes, he is of coaches, or at least of Urban Meyer. You can see those losses, man. You know, it's coaches. Coaches move right past a victory. It's the loss that stays with you. But you know, with Urban. Urban expects to win. Trevor, I mean, they all expect to win, but with a coach, you expect to win. And I, I, I think there's positives there. I just didn't understand how that Jacksonville defense seemed exhausted in the second half because Jacksonville's running the football in the first half, and I'm thinking Cincinnati's defense is going to be gassed in the second half. I do love what I see with Joe Burrow. 
I, I just, I love poise. I love that he has this ability to, you know, you stay in the pocket. And, you know, you know Troy Aikman made a career out of this. You slide in the pocket, just little moves. You're in, you're in a box, and you're just trying to stay in there. Jacksonville has a couple of design runs for Trevor Lawrence. I know he's a good athlete. I don't want him carrying the ball eight times. I, I, he's a big target. I don't want that. Um, he's not Cam Newton, and you can't use him like that. He's not Lamar Jackson. But if you're going to use him, have him roll out, but I don't like those design run plays. You already have a good running back. But, it, you know, he's going to be running for his life because of that offensive line. I don't want designed runs, but... I mean, I'm nitpicking here with Jacksonville. I thought they played pretty well. I thought there were signs of, okay, you know, we have a pulse here. And then you start to look at the schedule. You know, I did this with the New York Giants yesterday. They could start out 0-10. Here's Jacksonville. Next up, they host Tennessee. Then they go to London to face the Dolphins. At Seattle, they host Buffalo. At Indianapolis, host San Francisco. And then... They host Atlanta because after that, they're in Los Angeles to face the Rams. I mean, if you want to go even deeper, they've got Houston coming up. That's week 15. But, I mean, you could look at this team. They might be 1-9, one 1-10. In, one in one in I don't know what the over-under is for this team because we looked at the Texans as they were going to be the worst team, and the Texans aren't the worst team. But the over-under for Jacksonville is probably four and a half, maybe. Maybe even five. But with what we saw last night, you know, you played Cincinnati. And I think Cincinnati is a competitive team. I don't think they're a playoff team, but they are competitive. And you saw that last night. I, I think they have a, a, a better defense than people probably give them credit for. And I love, I w- love watching Joe Burrow. Yes, McLovin. Can I wet blanket the uh, yes, Bengals for can. a second? Yes, you can. They got lucky to beat the Jaguars at home. Okay. And they lost to Justin Fields and the Bears, who everyone thinks are the biggest disaster. So I wonder, I mean, Joe Burrow looked amazing, but he had 15 seconds in the pocket. The Jaguars' pass rush is like... Oh, man. They have like four sacks in four games. I think, yeah, they got up to, I think they might have gotten to four and a half or five last night. They, they, okay. don't, they are so harmless to the, yes. the quarterback. They are user-friendly to the quarterback there. Yes, Seton. I just like that when Andrew falls in love, he stays in love. Yeah, this is all about Andy Dalton. This is all Andy Dalton. Yeah, yeah. I think, oh, if Andy Dalton was the it? quarterback last night, it would have been a transformational win for the franchise. I know. By the way, and I, it kills me to see Joe Burrow be so good. Stop. It just hurts. You got to stop. That's like when your ex is dating like a really uh, amazing guy or something. Like, like that's totally Joe Burrow. traded up. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm the only person in America rooting against Joe Burrow, by the way, right now. <laughs> 